Now, Pete uh, Antico is a veteran start, uh, stunt performer. He joins us now from New York. Pete, uh, when you heard about this accident, what went through your mind? Well, it's, it's, it's extremely tragic when anything uh, like this happens. You know, the, the stunt business is a, is a very respected and a very dangerous uh, business, as, as you can see from all of the, the large amount of uh, the revenue created from all of the action movies in, in the last uh, 10 years. So it's, it's really heartbreaking to see anybody uh, pass away, you know, doing what they love. And, and movies, you know, are, are films, and there's, uh, you know, no reason anybody should uh, lose a life. But in our business, we take risks, and we take all of the risk out of it to the best of our ability, and sometimes, you know, things happen. The people on that set that I know, and they're highly trained, well-seasoned, uh, veteran stunt coordinators and and performers that are running that show. Uh, it's directed by David Leach, who came from a he used to be a stunt coordinator, and and, the, and Darren Prescott, the second unit director. They're phenomenal, uh, at the highest of quality. So, um, I'm I'm interested to see, you know, the details of uh, of what happened. Um, how quickly do details uh, about something like this come out? How long does an investigation take? Hmm. Well, uh, they have to, you know, obviously file their P's and Q's and get, get the details correct because no one wants to uh, put out any kind of conjecture. Um, these things are, are usually set up pretty pretty specific, and if something goes wrong, you know, um, it has to come in and be investigated, you know, thoroughly uh, to see you know, what, in fact, you know, did go wrong. So I'm, I'm not in a position, nor would I do anybody justice, um, to speculate on anything at this time. When when a stunt is being um, performed uh, for a film like this, who has the final say about you know the, the way it's choreographed, whether it goes through or not? The stunt coordinator. The, the stunt coordinator is the is the boss on, on on any film, and you have a second unit director that if it's a, if it's a second unit sequence, if it's done if it's being shot by the first unit director, uh, then the the stunt coordinator on uh, either unit has control. Uh, of all of the action. Now, you um, are a veteran uh, stunt uh, performer and coordinator. What, what kind of concerns, safety concerns, have there been in the past, and have they been raised? Uh, well, many safety concerns have been raised, especially in this, in this last uh, contract negotiation that was just ratified. The stunt community was in, in an uproar because they gutted all the safety uh, out of our travel provisions and our rest time. They cut it you know, one to two hours a night, and that's unheard of. There's not even a provision in our collective bargaining agreement that allows for an ambulance to be mandatory on set. I mean, the, the actors that run these unions need to understand that this is a serious business, and they have to, you know, to be a more um, a civil about it. I mean, it, it's really unethical that they would allow safety to be taken from our, our contracts, and this is a, this issue must be addressed uh, forthwith. So we're talking to the Labor Commissioner to see if we can get these provisions overturned. Uh, Pete, last question. You are running for a significant leadership position in your industry. Do you think that uh, because of the concerns that you're talking about right now, will you be able to bring those to the fore and, and, and get better uh, protection? You know, listen, uh, whether I win the, the SAG after presidency or not, I've certainly been an advocate for safety and uh, the Labor Commissioner and the, the entire community um, it has to band together and demand that safety be put in our collective bargaining agreements or more accidents are going to continue to happen. I mean, th this is just not only uh, humanitarian, it's, it's, uh, it's a matter of great, great importance because movies uh, are a profession. There is no reason that our own contracts should be unsafe and put actors, crew, and stunt performers at risk. A significant labor issue right there. Veteran uh, stunt coordinator Pete Antico in New York. Pete, thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure.